Hello and welcome to UX TV, powered by Data Meeting and brought to you today by Corinne DeKind. In this episode, I will be talking about chromostereopsis, when to use and avoid specific color combinations. So what is chromostereopsis? Well, it's a perception of depth in two-dimensional images when colors are in close proximity. So if you look at the example on the right, you'll notice one color might jump out while the other color recedes. This only happens with specific color combinations. So the illusion can be seen with red and blue and red and green color combinations. And this was first documented in 1810 in a publication titled The Theory of Colors by Goethe, who was a German writer. So here's one example I created. Which square appears closer to you? A majority of people will conclude that the red square appears closer, and this is known as positive chromostereopsis. However, a small percentage of people will say that blue appears closer, and this is known as negative chromostereopsis. And some people will say they experience no effect at all. So why does this occur? Well, it's believed to be caused by chromatic aberration, which is a failure of the lens to bring all color wavelengths to the same focal point. So if you look at the diagram across the bottom of the screen, you'll notice blue and green have shorter wavelengths. On the opposite end of the spectrum, you'll notice that red has a longer wavelength. The Oxford Journal published a study that highlighted there might be four possible scientific explanations to why this might occur. I won't go into each of the explanations, but I will share that all are tied to the difference in the color wavelengths. So how does this apply to our designs? Well, we select color combinations very intentionally, and we want to use the light color background with these color combinations. The effect is much weaker when the contrasting colors are displayed on a white or neutral background or a background of low saturation, and saturation being the perceived intensity or vividness of a color. So in this example, we use the color red to highlight alerts and negative trending but you'll notice we didn't put the red icons directly on the green and blue boxes. We put them on a neutral background. So the bottom line, avoid blue and green text on a red background and red text on a blue or green background. So not only is it hard on the eyes, but it's going to distract the users from your content, whether it's an application design or a presentation. So I wanted to leave you with a few examples. So on the left-hand side, these are examples of ones we want to avoid. So if we take the far bottom left one, ways we can improve this is by putting it on a neutral background. So you'll notice the example on the right uses a neutral gray. And if we want to use those background fills, the red and the green, we're going to want to separate those apart. So there's a bit more padding in between them, which will decrease the intensity of this illusion. Thank you for your time, and I hope you all learned a bit about chromostereopsis during this episode of UX TV, powered by Data Meeting and brought to you by Corinne DeKind.